which is the most ironic thing in the world, really. The most ironic thing in the world is that they actually have a police ship that is made by Drake. <laughs> like Drake making a police ship just uh, like something disconnects with me. Like I'm like, wait a second. Why is Drake making a police ship? This is something I've thought for many, many years. I'm sure there's some lore that explains it. But anyhow, uh, Drake making a police ship. I mean, if you think about it, they got both ends of the spectrum. They're selling them to pirates. They're selling them to police. They're selling them to medics. They got the whole spectrum. Drake's, Drake, originators. <laughs> Drake are pretty smart people, if you think about it. They got, they, got, they got it all. They're selling it to the pirates. The pirates are stealing. Oh, you want to do something about this uh, Drake Cutlass Black? Well, here we got a Drake Cutlass Blue. You can... You <laughs> <laughs> you get the Drake Cutlass Blue, you go after the Drake Cutlass Black. Oh, if something happens in between, wait, you need a ship for that? Somebody's dying? Oh my goodness, well, then we need a Cutlass Red. <laughs> like, they got they got all the Drakes doing all these different tasks. Drake, you're geniuses. This is another reason why I do like Drake, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, right. Boba says, it's like those fake cop cars to fake you out to pull you over and gank you. Yeah, dude, completely, man. Completely. I love it. I love it. But I just don't, you know, maybe I just explained why it's happening. Maybe Drake is just that good. But I also wanted to see the inside of the ship. Do they show the inside of the ship at all? Hold on a second. This is where, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, that's the turret. You can see the turret all lit up. Um, Let's go back a little bit, though. Is the interior cabin after you get out of the... Okay, so not much difference there in the interior cabin. It looks a little bit more polished, but the, the cabin right off the cockpit where the turret is doesn't look any different. Going up in the turret... Yeah, 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 we know what that does. Let's see the back. Let's see the back of the ship, you sons of bitches. Do they show it? Come on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay. So here are your cells. These are like little chambers, little cryo chambers when you're... Okay, there's your bunks. Yeah, we, we know. We know. Get to the important part of the ship, damn it. All right. Okay. Okay. Side docking collars look a little bit more legit. And then you've got, oh, why is this guy switching around? This guy needs to understand how to move the camera inside. You know what I'm saying? I mean, slowly, dude, slowly. This guy's on some La Coca. Got some Coca in the system. All right. Slow it down, dude. Slow it. Dude, what are you doing? How many pods are back in this thing? I, I read something that said 12. I read another one that said there were more. I, I read another one that said there were less. I love those little pods, man. Those are cool. I, I would love to show them to you if this guy could to relax. Relax, dude. Relax. Okay. All right. There we go. We're going <sighs> to. This guy obviously has not made videos before. I'm sorry if he has. I have no idea who this dude is. It was just a Reddit post. But Jesus, dude. Slow down. Give us some nice angles. See what I'm saying? I know he's probably just playing the game. He's probably not worried about it, you know, but like for future reference, dude, slow it down a little bit. <laughs> slow it down. All right. So you can see they have like a locking mechanism in the middle. They probably open up. Do they open? My chat fell asleep. Uh, let's see. Boba says, don't worry on the 30th. I will have one. Thank you. That's awesome, Boba. I wish I could have been first, like Board Gamer. Board Gamer's got all the good stuff. He's got all that cash. He's just Board Gamer. He's like, yeah, you want to see the, the the Cutlass Blue? I have it already. I had it before anybody. You want to see? Uh, he's always there with the ship review, like the day, the same day. He's got the cash. He's got the cash. Uh, let's see here. Open it. Do they open? I want to. Yes. Enter seat. Wait a second. What was that? What is that? Uh, it's in PTU currently for those that are that that have own that own the ship, and for Evocati members right now. Hammer's asking in chat: Is it in PU or only PTU? Yeah, it's PTU for people who own the ship 
or Evocati members. I hope they release this to the other waves. That would be nice. But if not, it looks like Boba's got my back. But yeah, did that guy just crawl in with that no- There's no opening animation yet? Okay, that makes me upset. Don't release the ship unless your freaking animations are done. I'm- I'm tired of this. You hear me, Cloud Imperium? I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna let you off the hook on this one. Like, do not release the ship if there's no animation. Now, this might be the dude's system. I don't know. I don't know what, exactly what's going on here. But you can see there was no- Like, he literally- and also, I don't know if you're just going to push enter being the convict. I think that might be something that needs to be taken over from the person who's actually, you know, the cop. That's something or that or a bounty hunter, for instance, a bounty hunter that has a ship or or an officer who's RPGing as an officer and taking people in. This is personally for me against players would be like one of the better bounty hunting ships, you know. But as far as the gameplay mechanics are concerned, I think that what you're going to end up having to do is having some type of control over the player. And a lot of people will get upset when I talk like this. You know, they say, oh, I don't want anybody able to do that. Well, then don't be a pirate. That's my answer. You don't want to get in situations like this, then don't do any bad things. But if you're going to do bad things, then you better be willing to like give over control to somebody when they got you inside this Cutlass Blue and they're putting you in this pod. There should be something that should be able to be pushed that just automatically and there should be a sweet ass animation. Put them in. You're going to jail. You're going to Klesher. Let's have a fun ride. That sh sh really should be what happens. And it's coming from a pirate. This is coming from somebody who likes that element of gameplay. I, you know, I wouldn't have any problem with it. I would, I love the cat and mouse between, you know, the, the authorities and, and the bad guys. I think that's great. I think you're going to see it more when you see pyro come into effect. And I'm just disappointed that there was no animation with, with opening this. That's a big deal for me. Also the, the interface, the interface needs work. Because, like I said, nobody's voluntarily going to push enter. <laughs> no no self-respecting pirate is going to push that enter button. <laughs> but that's cool, like, once you're inside, though. That's actually pretty cool. Once you're inside there. I dig that. Very cool. These guys are having a joy ride. Weapons of light. System of light. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying right now, I'm glad. I'm glad to see that the Cutlass Blue is going to be released soon, but they need to do more work. There, there definitely needs to be more work done on it, in my opinion, from what I saw here. So, you know, the, the things could change as we get updates. But from what I saw here, it definitely needs uh, a little bit more work and attention to it. I mean, like, really, when you're talking about the inside of the Drake, the only thing that changes between the black, the red, and the blue is obviously the back end, the cargo section. You know, the black, obviously, for freight. The, the blue we just saw where you can essentially put people in these pods to arrest them and take them back for bounties, which is great. And then the red, you know, as a medical vehicle where you can put people on beds and do what you need to heal those people. That's great. So I'm digging like the fact that they're all different, that they're all, you know, varied and you can do different gameplay elements with these ships. I think that's great, but I, I think more attention and work needs to be put on these things. And a lot of people go, well, big deal. All the changes to the inside. Well, that's a big deal for these ships. That's actually a pretty big deal for these ships. And I do like the way they designed them. So I do like the design. I'm not quite sure how many pods were in back, how many jail cells little pod cells were in back but uh very cool so cutlass blue very very cool and like i showed you here um through the leak channel the the uh fleet week has the array of them you can see they've got a really nice setup right there hold on a second let me show you this let's switch over to the uh, discord window real quick so you guys can check that out what's up chips how you doing man yeah, 3.9 is a little bit more janky than 3.8, uh, but they're working on it, Chips, and I still think it's worth playing it a little bit. You'll be able to see Microtech. You'll be able to see new Babbage, the new Moons. Uh, a lot of things have, have, you know, a lot of new things have been added. Yeah, the blue has a really cool cockpit uh, design to it. It's much more sloped. Let me get back to that, see if we can see that again. 
um, on the video here. I think we can in the in the warp. We look at this. Let me let me switch the windows for you guys here, and we'll look at that. Yeah, I definitely like that kind of like sloped kind of front on the top. That that top end, very cool. Oh, you got a new flight stick? Oh, nice chips, dude. Nice, nice, nice. I, I broke my Warthog right around 2016, 2017 when I was playing Elite Dangerous. Kids dropped it on the floor. And I was really upset. Had the throttle and everything. I didn't even have it for more than a few months. I think I had it for about six or seven months. And I uh, was doing a lot of my Elite Dangerous, bringing the Dangerous videos with it. And it was a great stick. Uh, it was really, really um, a, a very well done Hotas. And um, boom, on the floor. I haven't gotten one since. I really need to look into getting another one. <laughs> J-Dubs, what's going on, dude? Yeah, the cockpit glass, like uh, Execute was saying, is the front's like rounded down. I really dig the style. Like I, I like the, the design change on the blue. I like the design. So there, there are some slight design changes. I dig the lights. You know, there, there are definitely some design changes from the blue compared to the red on the exterior from the red to the black. Um, J-Dubs, what's going on? He says, I will be picking up a blue. Yeah, I mean, like, I would say this. With the blue, you definitely, like I was saying earlier, need some type of mechanism so that you, as the person catching the criminal, are able to force them into the pods because no self-respecting criminal or pirate is going to push the enter button into the pod. So something needs to be figured out there. You know, maybe at the threat of gunpoint, <laughs> you know, if you can get to the point where you got the guy and you're like, hey, listen, we will shoot you and you will die. And death has consequences like we've been talking about. Death needs to have some types of consequences. And we talked about that in many prior videos, especially when the Cutlass Red came out. So you can check those videos out if you are if you want to get into that. When we talk about death of a spaceman and death mechanics, the death should have some types of consequences. And if all these kind of gameplay elements are involved in the finished product, when people are pointing the gun at you and death means something that would be like, I don't want to die. Then you can get in a situation where you're pointing at the dude and you're like, hey, dude. You need to get into this pod. <laughs> then the dude's going to be like, okay, fine. And I'll press enter and I'll get in the pod. But otherwise, there needs to be some other type of mechanic to get these dudes in the pods. There also needs to be an animation. Shame on you. If there's no animation, uh, then shame on you. There definitely needs to be an animation on those pods before it gets released like that, like, like this. I did have to throttle the kids. <laughs> that was ba -doom, boom boom nice one nice one execute <laughs> i think it was hammer hammer i you're i you're right it was supposed to come with some type of stun baton i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure um <clears throat> boba says well when the drag function is added i'm sure they will have it so you're putting the bad guy in the pod eh, that would be great yeah, yeah, like the drag feature we were talking about with the medics, like field medics, when when something happens, you're able to drag the characters. Uh, the, the animations we saw, the mocap that we saw was the characters being able to be drugged by the legs. Uh, maybe they'll have other type of drag animations or pull push animations. That would be great. That would be good. Would be like you could not move if you were the criminal or the pirate or you were in some type of like environment where new rules would apply as far as what would happen to you. And you would lose control of being able to do certain types of things if A plus B equals C type environment. You know, I, I get what you're saying, dude. 